Hey everyone, I'm Fiddler Man, and today's tune is called Cora Beniki. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right, and I'll get comments about it beneath the video, but it's the same piece used for the Tetris game. We can get as fancy as we want with this, or we can make it easy, which is what I'm going to try to do with you, but also give you variations in which you can make it a little more interesting. Here's an A in case you want to play with me. And as with all of my A Tune A Week video tutorials, you can find a link to the sheet music beneath the video. Let's get started. Here we go. Three, four. That's the first part. On the next part, we're going to use a fourth finger for three reasons. One is that we don't want to do string changes if not necessary, but that's really not a big deal. The other reason is that I'm going to show you a double stop version later on that you need to use the fourth finger. And the third reason is to practice using our fourth finger. Here we go. Three, four. With the A flat, you have a couple options. You can either play a fourth finger A flat, so after the A. But if you use the fourth finger, make sure it's low enough. And if you use the third finger as a G sharp, make sure it's high enough. Uh, a flat and G sharp are virtually the same note. And the same thing here. If you use the second finger, put it right up against the third finger. And if you use the third finger, just slide it down. Okay, so you play the first part twice and the second part one time, and you repeat the whole thing again if you like. Now I'm going to show you how to make this a little more fun and interesting without making it much more difficult. We're going to play the top two strings on the instrument and finger the A string. So we'll use an open E string for the double stops, like this. That's the first part. On the next part, we'll start the first note. You'll have an open D along with your third finger D. And then an open A along with the next five notes. And then back to what I showed you before with the open E string and fourth finger. So the whole first part will sound something like this. On the next part, we're going to use an open E string for three bars, and then we're going to play the A flat by itself, but we're going to leave that finger down and play the B along with it on the second half of that bar, like this. Measures 13 and 14 are similar to measures 9 and 10. Going on with the last two measures, you're going to play the first two notes with an open E string. You're going to keep that second finger down to play the A, so you won't lift it. That'll be your double stop. Then you'll slide everything down a half step, like this. So the whole thing will be like this. And 
that's it. You have a nice, interesting, fun, and easy piece. This, by the way, is a Magini, Holstein Magini violin that you can get at Fiddler Shop. And that was this week's tune. Stay tuned for another great tune next week. Thanks so much for watching.